to race with her, and she's an awesome racer. My name is Sarah Doherty, and I was side-swept by a drunk driver when I was riding my bicycle when I was 13. My disability is I'm a high amputee. Um, I'm also an identical twin, so I think that immediately I felt like I was less identical, and I liked being identical to my twin. After I lost my leg, I was very athletic. I got into skiing and then ski racing. It brought me into the mountains. I was part of the U.S. Disabled Ski Team. And it was just natural. You're in the mountains to want to go snowshoeing. And so I was forced to have to adapt equipment to do that. And what others might think is my biggest achievement is uh, summiting Denali or Mount McKinley, which is what it was called when I did it in 19... 85. I was the first disabled person to actually summit that mountain and I was forced to have to adapt equipment to do that and in truth that's all it is was um, understanding that I'm significant but not that significant. Nature can certainly do that for you. It wasn't to prove anything in fact it wasn't it wasn't really advertised. Yeah I honestly I think at the time the only people that were concerned were people who actually really knew how to climb. I could have lost my life on the mountain. You can in high mountains. I think the only time I questioned it was when I was flying onto the glacier. It was like I knew I couldn't turn around. And that's the only time I was like, oh. Like I prepared as much as I can, could, but I just didn't know what the mountain was going to dish me. And yeah, I was a little overwhelmed. And then for a disabled person, I would say uh, live fully because once you do, you forget you're disabled and the people around you forget that too. And that's liberating. That's, you know, that's part of defying convention. I see myself as an adaptive athlete, even though I'm not hardcore anymore. Um, I think adaptive is more descriptive than disabled because the dis puts the, um, the missing before the a ability. You don't even have to be disabled. Just look at anyone. Uh, do you look at them and look at the negative before the positive? But I'm talking to you as a disabled person, uh, but this is a philosophy any person can take because everyone struggles in life.